Hi, I'm Zainab Hassan. I'm a Somali Family Support Coordinator for Family Action Somali Family Support Service. We were fortunate to receive support from the Discover Young Hackney project to deliver workshops for young Somalis in Hackney on the theme of boundaries. Uh, we was run in partnership with Office Centre and we were able to provide art therapy. This video illustrates some of the highlights of those workshops that we enjoyed so much and I hope you do too. The young people actually engage. Sometimes you come to these workshops and people are sitting there quietly. And even when I came into the art one, and obviously I came a bit late, but I like the fact that young people were willing and open to talk. Maybe because it was a smaller group, I don't know. But I like the fact that they was actually engaging and actually shared their feelings and their thoughts. So if you take the source of livelihood away from them, a human being by nature will lash back. Oh. And he's uh, yeah, I've got my true religion genes. You've been kicked out of a secondary school already before you're 12. Why are you wearing designer clothes? Oh right, let them do what they're doing because at the end of the day it's their own community that they're messing up anyway. The rich people are still going to be rich anyway. They'll get up in the morning, their Porsche is still going to be parked in their drive. But all the rest of us now, we're going to have to pay for that in some way, shape or form. I found the boundary session really, really encouraging. The young people, the good young people, and they were very interactive and social and they took part in the, um, in the talk, which I was really happy about. Surely children in school should know, you know what, the consequences of carrying a knife is that you could use it and get some graphic photos where half their mm. stuff's hanging out and mm. this and, yeah. and all the scars and show them that from the get-go. Getting so beef, I'm not saying I didn't have beef afterwards, I had beef afterwards, not beef, I had trouble afterwards. Um, people still wanted to beat me up even after I got out of the gangs and etc etc. But I said to myself that although I have to look behind my shoulder, even now, even though I've made positive changes, one day someone's going to see me and going to see the change that I've made and want to just leave me alone. And so four years down the line, I can walk down the street and I don't ever have to look over my shoulder anymore. Um, one of my cousins was actually arrested for the riots. Um, when I sat down with him, I said to him, seriously, what was the point? What did you... He's like, oh, you know what, yeah, it was just a bunch of my mates, yeah, and then we just got there, and the next thing I knew, police were there. <laughs> okay, and now you've been arrested for it, and now we've got a court case, and now you're probably going to go down for it, so how do you feel about that? Nah, it ain't even the one, you know, it ain't even going to happen again, and that's going to be smarter than that. <laughs> so again, it's like they're not looking at their actions and saying, okay, this is very bad what I'm doing, and look at the consequences, it's like, now I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it in a bit more smarter way. Like, when it falls, it's back and felt and what the know. And that she was like, I don't understand it. So you respect your mother, but when it comes to other women, you don't respect them. And I said, well, because he doesn't have a father around. I mean, yeah, okay, you have your mother around. And your mother's dead. She's present. She's telling you to respect women. But you're a male. You're not a female. You're looking for someone older, an, an older male, for you to tell you, no, that's, yeah, you have to respect all women. Because if everybody says, well, my man's carrying a knife now, yeah, that's a wicked knife now, yeah, well, I want to get one of them, then everybody's going to want to carry a knife. Even you're going to want to carry a knife. You're not in the conversation, but you're listening. If the conversation was, you're just a killer, ain't black people killing themselves enough, man? What is it? Suicide business. You're a waste, man. Now, if that kind of conversation happens, and man, you ought to be saying, yeah, yeah, we shouldn't be doing that because as a people we should be rising and consolidating the little that we don't have instead of just frittering away the whole thing. It happened to me, I was in London Fields back in 2002-ish. That was like a really gang type of bed, I'm not sure about now. But I just said, I know, I know so and so. They all, they all backed off away from me, 11 of them. They were trying to rob my trainers by the way. <laughs> For real. And they all backed off. Yeah, I think the last two weeks have been actually very interesting. Um, particularly the first group where we had a, a mixture of um, you know, young men and young women and um, did find that the conversation you know, that we were having was actually quite interesting and just to really hear their views and their, um, their thoughts on, on boundaries and different kinds of boundaries. But I would say that definitely I'm very pleased with all the art therapy that's going as well. It's really, um, being quite surprised that the young people seem to be really engaged in using the art materials. And mm -hmm. Everyone has the potential to be somebody because I never thought I had the potential to be 
anybody and look where I am now. So I see anyone, it doesn't matter what, what you've done or who you are, because I see good in everybody, even the worst person in the world I see good in. But I just think that they need support, they need help, they need to be pushed, maybe a little bit. They just need someone to care and not to give up, because in life everybody gives up on you. Some people, well not everybody, but most people give up on you. You need that one person that's going to stick by you no matter what you do. I, I, I like the way that you've taken that. I can't be bothered. Yeah. I I, I'm not going to lie, I just can't be bothered. Yeah. You know, I just say, you know what? Have your perceptions. I don't even care. Yeah. You can go to hell with it if you want. If you want to make fun of it, go ahead. You feel very strongly about it. Now, what I want to know, do you relate? Because I like the way you say, well, you know, people are doing this to their C's and they're doing that. And, you know, I'm not saying it's right, but, you know, so what you did is you actually said, I know what's going on as a Somalian. Yeah. For example, at work, they call me pirate. Really? So, no, I, no, I, no, 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 they must be. Absolutely yeah. need of my mum, I can go to her. Some people don't have mums that they can go to them because they might not be around anymore, they might have left or they might not be, they might be, you know, passed away or something. So I'm really grateful for the life that I've got and even though sometimes in my life I might feel that it's really hard and I'm like, oh, why is my life like this? I always just think to myself, there's someone out there that's a worse life than I do. Yeah, you know, I just analyse people to think, do you know what I mean? Or that person there could be the next president in America or prime minister, you know, in 10 years time, it's just good to just see, do you know what I mean? And that's why I say potential in everybody, because you don't know who you're sitting next to you right now. I don't know who I'm sitting next to you right now <laughs> or what they could do in their lives, right? And one, and at a certain point, someone was sitting next to me and didn't know what I could be. Um, you have to have a certain amount of authority when you talk to young people. Empathy always works, always. Okay. My name's Khadina Dan. Yes, um, I love the art and therapy. Art is something I like to do. And, um, I've enjoyed it and it's helped me improve my confidence. Um, I enjoyed the art therapy. I enjoyed the um, representative that came. Uh, we had a really good interactive session and I wish this work can continue and help lots of people in the, in the boroughs. And I'm happy that it happened. I look forward to it happening again. Your, your. Your every day seems like this life is getting different. The future changing every day and ain't the same one I envisioned. Maybe it's my fault for hopeful wishing and thinking that people are changing, but they won't unless there's a little persuasion behind them and try to back them up. But there's no such luck. And that's because of a number of reasons. Going easy on laws so that the young human beings can grow up to being treated like their life have really has no meaning. And they and then feel like they ain't being needed or even being wanted. So what do you expect when they lash out retaliating? Because they're facing multiple complications, complicating their mind frame and how they look on life. That ain't right. Negative, negative thoughts stay subconscious, secretly poisoning the mind.